you know, so. Then I just took a screw and screwed it in the middle. Now what you want to do is you want to measure your shelf from um, here to here and then find the center and make your mark in the center right there. Boom. And that's where you drill it at. After you drill it, if you had screws that was a little too long like mine, you want to cut them off with your grinder. So they don't poke nothing, scratch nothing, or catch nothing up. Okay? Uh, okay. Plywood at the bottom. You see? That's just, I mean, I just used a staple, um, a nail gun. And just uh, nailed it. I just nailed it all the way around. Um, same thing on the side. I just nailed it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not perfect, you know. I'm not perfect. I just get the job done. You know, so uh, that's all you do, and you do that six times. Oh, that's my boat. So you want your boat to be in the front. Okay, same thing for the boat. Once you find your boat, which I just got a, got them at this set I got from Harbor Freight once again, but I just have these on hand because I use them for different projects. Uh, but I just if I get any better. There we go. I just uh, use this one. I just use these. I use these right here. Then I found me a um a, a, a um, bit that was a little smaller than this, so that this would thread in to the hole after I drilled it on the side. After I drilled it on the side, I used I just did like this, and I measured from here to here, two inches. Okay. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. See that? Two inches right on. And that's all I did. I made a mark two inches and then drilled the hole and then threaded the bolt from the other side. You can use a wrench, you can use pliers. I used a uh, socket bit with a drill to make it faster with a quarter drill. And uh, screwed, threaded it through until it was tight. You're done with your trays. I'm sorry, guys. I probably just messed up the screen by turning the phone sideways. So, I apologize. I just trying to get the best shots I can. All right. Let me show you how to put your rod on. And that sits right there. If you use symmetric wood, if all your wood is symmetric in size, um, it, all your shelves will will balance on their own. They'll be perfect. My shelves are not balanced because um, my wood is some of my wood is not symmetric. Um, the last one I did, my all my all my shelves were perfect. But um, anyways, well, I want to tell you a way to get free wood, free lumber, and this is if one is in your area. But if you go to um, a place that make custom cabinets, a cabinet shop, uh, they have a lot of scrap wood. And they have a lot of really good grade scrap, uh, scrap wood. And, um, I mean, I get it for free. I get bundles of it. And uh, I just make my cages, my coops, uh, projects like this. I, I mean, I make all kind of stuff um, with scrap wood. So to find your wood for free... Find a cabinet shop and uh, go out there and I'm pretty sure it'll either be around the dumpster or they'll have a pile of it. And uh, I haven't found a cabinet shop that didn't wasn't happy for you to come get it. So um, that's the avenue of finding free wood so you can make this thing little to nothing. Because I forget that this is another reason that it's so cheap for me because uh, I just use a lot of recycled material um, or material that's going to be thrown away. So... Uh, back to the project. Um, yes, the rod. Okay. So, I'm going to try to hold this and do this with one hand, which is probably be difficult. So, you just take it and you put it on to the hole like that. And, okay, I'm trying to do this with one hand. You go to the next. See, I would put a little. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. I'll try to show you. 
all the way. Mm. I don't have a, I thought I had an extra um, piece of wood that I cut. Yeah, this one. And that piece of wood, I had uh, cut the sides out of for the trays to um, swivel on. Anyways, so this boat, same kind of boat. I tried to show you the boat too. Again, um, it's through here. So this nut is the size that fitted. And let's see if I can do this one hand for you. I just threw it on about that far. You know, you go a little more for one. Go to the next one. Line the hole up. I'll just do this with one hand and look to the camera and do this. There we go. We got that one on, so I'll put a boat on there so it stays. I'm gonna see if I can keep going without putting a boat on it. Put that one on. That's why you want to put your boat on because. You can do it without putting your boat on because I just had it on without the boat, but you just got to use two hands to get the job done. I almost got it. Mm, nope. It's going to come off it. Okay, well, I can't thread it with one hand, so I'm going to pause it and come back. All right, guys, so I uh, got it all hooked back together. And as you see, as I did earlier, up and down. Um, I explained what we're gonna do down there, so we're gonna start that. Um, but I'm gonna start on a new video, and on the next video, we're gonna be uh, getting everything we need together to weld the threaded rod um, and the uh, bolt onto the plate, so that we can hook it to that um, that stick there, the rod or whatever you want to call it, that's connected to all the shelves. So, uh, thanks for hanging in with me. I'll uh, see you on the next video.